Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to remove background noise from your recordings, typically for narration, audiobooks, or any voiceover you're recording. While this will work for music, music tends to mask any noise in your recordings. So this is better applied for voiceover or narration or any speaking voices. Well, you want the background noise to be a lot quieter. So let me show you how to do this. So a track set up over here for my voiceover. Let's put it in record and record some voice or narration. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And if we play it back, we can see there's already noise before and after, but let's hear it. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And although it's not terrible, I do have a fan and an air conditioner in my studio. So we are hearing some noise I want to remove. Let's start off by recording just the noise. And it's a good idea to do this with any narration you're recording so we could sample and remove that noise. Hit record, but don't speak into the mic. Just record the room noise. Let's hear it back. And it's fairly quiet. Let's bring it up right here so I could hear it better. So I want to start off by removing any low end rumble, which we can see by these big waveforms. I'll go to the effects on this track, type into the filter EQ and choose the re-EQ plugin, which looks like this. I'll turn on the high pass filter and filter out any low end. As we can see up here, there's a whole bunch we don't need. But we don't want to make the voice too thin, so we'll keep it about 40 to 50 hertz. Before, see all that low end we don't need, and after. And to see the difference, let's go to our actions by hitting the question mark, type into the filter, apply track effects, and choose this action right here to apply the track effects to the media item so you can see the difference. Double click it. Here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like after as it reduces the low end rumble. Let's put it back to normal as we just made it to see the difference. Now we're going to add the Refer plugin. Double click, type in the filter, Refer, and choose the plugin right here, the Refer plugin, which of course comes with Reaper. Double click it, and we're going to change the edit mode to be precise. I'll change the size to be 1024. Although you could play with this to find the best size for you, for narration, this works best for me. We'll choose best quality and change the mode to be subtract. So we're going to subtract the noise from our audio. And we could sample it by choosing this right here. Automatically build noise profile. And if we play just the noise over here, let's start a bit later and loop it. It'll build a noise profile right here, which we'll see down here. This is the noise we're sampling. We could reset it and do it again. And make sure we just have the noise. No clicking sound or tapping, just the noise from our room. And we're done. Deselect this one. Now we sampled and subtracted our noise. What's here before? I'll boost it up. That's the noise. And after, it's gone. And if we want to adjust it, we could adjust it down here, hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and bring this up and down. To reduce the subtraction, 
or subtract even more, which will cause glitching in the audio. So you want to get this just right. But usually hitting automatic and resetting it will build it for the perfect level. Right down here. Unselect this button. And if we go back to the audio we recorded with the voice, it should sound quiet, removing the background noise, but just keeping the audio or the voice. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. What's here before? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Again, we hear noise before and after, but with this on, we don't. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And again, we could tweak it, holding control on the PC, command on the Mac. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Notice how it gets glitchy. The quick brown fox as we subtracted too much of the noise. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And if we save this audio right here, we can reteach our plugin to get the setting just right. Subtract it, automatically build noise profile, and it builds it perfectly, which usually is the exact setting we need without adjusting it from here. And we're done, uncheck this option. Now the noise profile is applied to any section we record. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Perfect. So we removed the background noise from our audio or narration or voiceover. So it's a good idea before recording any audio to always record the background noise or room tone that we could sample later using this plugin, resetting it and building a noise profile. And deselecting it and applying it to any section we're working on. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So that's pretty much it. That's removing background noise using the Reefer plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.